Early diagnosis and treatment of infectious neglected tropical diseases could be life-saving for millions. However, cultural, logistical and political factors can prevent diagnostic tools from reaching the people who need them most. Bridging R&D and access, the Foundation for Innovative New Diagnostics aims to overcome these challenges by developing innovative tools and engaging with governments. Julie MacDonald has more. In low- and middle-income countries, fighting some of the world's most deadly diseases with scant resources is challenging. The World Health Organization estimates that millions of deaths in these countries are being caused year after year by preventable diseases, where early diagnosis is vital. Diagnostics are critical to global health, and yet for many of the world's poorest, they aren't always available or affordable. Good underlying health is a prerequisite for good economic growth and prosperity. There is a massive gap in diagnostics for diseases of poverty more, more generally, where there's no commercial interest, so there's a real lack of investment. The Foundation for Innovative New Diagnostics, also known as FIND, is driving innovation in the development and delivery of diagnostics to combat major diseases like tuberculosis, viral hepatitis, malaria, schistosomiasis and sleeping sickness as well as other neglected tropical diseases, which all place a huge burden on already poor communities. Professor Joseph Dungu is head of FINE's Neglected Tropical Diseases programme. He led the development of new diagnostics for sleeping sickness, including a rapid test that's become the only screening test in elimination programmes run by some affected countries. The prevalence of sleeping sickness is high. The best way of controlling the disease is to organize what is called active screening campaigns. So what we do, we use an algorithm that ensures that we deliver access to these diagnostics to the communities as close as possible to where they live. Find has supported the development of 24 tools now since we started with our partners in academia and developers and we are beginning to see the impact of some of those tools. We're moving towards elimination of sleeping sickness. Find and its partners have developed a number of new diagnostics that range from lab tests to critical field tests. For children, we are working now on a way to process stool samples that are easy to collect and not invasive um, in order to have a result very quickly. So in the past, we used to use conventional culture for diagnosis of TB, which will take about two months to get the results from. So patients had to come back from the, to the clinic and spend more money and time. Patients would be spreading the disease if they were positive and would not get the treatment correctly right away. For TB, we are um, in the process of developing a test that can be used um, uh, initially for people with um, uh, advanced TB disease. Where we, because it's difficult for them to produce um, sputum, we are using urine instead into this little rapid cartridge here. And then you would get a result that you'd be able to read like you would a pregnancy test. The challenges faced by many governments are complex, from basic science to a lack of research and development. But developing the tools is only part of the story. It's access to diagnostics, which proves the biggest hurdle. We work with FINE supporting something like 180 million tests per year to make sure that we've got the right diagnostics products. I think what we're doing is really to take those products and make them affordable, so making sure that we work with the suppliers, to help them to make sure they understand those markets, to, to, uh, to basically generate the demand, to make sure that the volume will be big enough to in fact have the, uh, the, the, the critical mass. So having an organization like FIND, which is working globally, it's picking the best science across the world. Better diagnostic tools are the catalyst to solving broader global issues, alleviating poverty and improving global health security and preventing antibiotic resistance. And by continuing to invest in the best science, FIND hopes to radically reduce the burden of disease for millions of people across the globe. I would like to see communities, um, individuals empowered to know um, and to demand better care from the healthcare providers and for countries as well to be empowered to make better decisions.